my cup with some job love. Sit on down, let's talk it up. I know some laughing lattes, laughing lattes. Welcome to another episode of Life and Lattes with Liv and Cole. I'm Liv. <laughs> and I'm Cole. <laughs> what? I'm just laughing at you. Oh my gosh. Just, we had to do the intro <laughs> twice because she took this. <gasps> Buster Rhymes breathe. <laughs> we have a guest, fam. Yeah, yeah. Another guest. <laughs> Grace Bowling. Welcome to the episode. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're on one today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they <laughs> are. Really, <laughs> truly. Welcome. <laughs> so usually we record like a little bit earlier in the day. and a more subdued. Then. Yeah. And then it's just like we've had time to get more coffee in our system. So we're just like really jazzed right now. Right. <laughs> Woo! Yes. The blood's pumping. I've had my breakfast. <laughs> I had it's breakfast happening. too. Did you have breakfast today, Grace? I had a protein bar. Mm-hmm. So that kind counts. of. No, not really. Count but then gosh. I had McDonald's because... Because Golden yeah. arches. That's what I had. <laughs> I had Taco Bell. Oh. So we're we're winning. Oh. What? I, uh, what? You don't like Taco doesn't. Bell? What is it's this? Good. The Taco Bell doesn't like me. Oh, it's, it's not. <laughs> Let's I just mean, be honest. It's not okay? kind to you. If you're not like three sheets to the wind, you can't eat Taco Bell. I'm just saying. <laughs> kind <there's>, of. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of the the rule, right? Like unless you don't know if you can make it through the drive through like you shouldn't be going to Taco Bell. Do you know what I mean? N- no. If you're drunk as hell. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Because you're going, there are only two things that sound good as Taco Bell and White Castle, and those are two things you don't eat in the daylight. No. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I love Taco Bell. No shame but in Kate's my game. the same way. Kate's the same way. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. <laughs> I might have the unpopular opinion. That's usually the case. Yeah, usually. <laughs> I'm shocked you even had McDonald's. He's very bougie. Like yeah. how bougie? Like, like what's your ideal fast food restaurant? None of them. Yeah. See, that's where we're at. That, oh this my is, gosh. This is what I deal with. <laughs> what? Yeah, there's a lot of, like most of the time during the week, like when I go get lunch, mm-hmm. there's this really nice little place in Franklin called Main and Madison. You know, it's like a little locally owned place that of course. Really, it's super nice food. Yeah. Or I go to Kroger and I get sushi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sushi? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. I hate sushi. Oh. Oh, I like sushi. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I worked in a sushi restaurant though when when okay. I was in college, and so I didn't like it before. Mm-hmm. Was like hell no, yep. and then somehow they they were like just try it, and mm-hmm. I gave it a go. And like at the end of the day, like I was eating like sea urchin and oh octopus, and I was like, mm-hmm. wow, this isn't that bad at all. So you ate octopus? Yeah, that's I did. Ooh. Just, Ooh. I'm gonna have to unfriend you. It's that's just it's just salty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. No, 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 no. Golden arches all the way. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> McDonald's for days. <laughs> what if McDonald's had sushi though? I wouldn't trust you know, it. I right. Yeah, so no. <laughs> it's kind of where I'm at, really. With okay, that. I'll ask you guys this though. While we're on this topic, okay. Um, Long John Silver's. Oh, oh. yes. Okay, yes. so you're on board. I don't care board. what it is. Yes. I don't care what really. It is. Yes. Okay. Long John Silver's is like my guilty pleasure that I have once wow. every five years. No way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I so literally don't think I've had Long John Silver's in like 15 years. Well, so I know there was one in Franklin. Like growing up, it was always there. Well, it's gone now. Oh, <laughs> it's been gone no. for a long time. So I didn't even know where they were. Grace's heart is breaking. I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not already out of business, yeah. if we're being honest. But but I just saw a commercial the other day. That's oh. why I asked. Because <laughs> there was a commercial on TV. New logo, new everything. And I was like, I look at this. Trying trying like that. update. Right? Yeah. They're bringing it back. <laughs> Those hush puppies are unreal. So <laughs> you, need to, you need to have some. <laughs> Out of this world, I don't man. think I've ever had one. They're so good. Wow. Get them next oh, time wow. you go. I'm going to have to do it now. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Just to try it out. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what are we drinking today, Liv? We have Not iced McDonald's coffee, coffee because it is freaking hot Woo! in Indiana today, mm-hmm. like in the 90s, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Which has been different than the last few weeks. It's been raining. Yeah. Like, I don't want to complain about it. Yeah. I, I I don't either, but it's been hot, so that's why I was like, you, you know what, we're Just doing watering. iced coffee today. It's perfect. Can you hand it to me? Yeah, That'd be awesome. Um, so we did the Starbucks iced coffee dark roast. It's really um, good. We did the medium last we time. We did right? medium. Yep. Yeah. So literally, we've had different coffee every single week. But I think this literally. makes a huge difference because the medium was so when you put the ice in, it chills it out. 
um, in multiple ways. And uh, oh. this one actually gives you f- a coffee bite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can still taste you, you the coffee. Get, you get the coffee vibe more than the medium. Yep. I'm on board with this. Yeah, I like this one better. This has been our best iced coffee thus far. That time that we tried the other one that was like, what are we drinking right now? What was that one? Stoke? Stoke. Have you ever tried that no. iced coffee? The packaging really is what got me. I'm not <laughs> even going to lie about it. It was very good it, packaging. It, it was mm-hmm. great packaging, but the, it didn't... I was like, where's the coffee? And then tell the rest really, of the story, though. Oh so Dang. we... we st- I, I should say I bashed it mm-hmm. on the show listen to that episode and <laughs> i was very honest about it mm-hmm. and then we posted something and they like liked our picture yeah, or they like, commented on like, it or oh both. my gosh and i was like yikes. i was like, really like, hope they didn't listen to the episode <laughs> <laughs> i felt bad because literally every coffee we've had thus far has been really good i was just mad that it didn't taste good. and then yeah. and then we tried and it was the first time we did iced coffee mm-hmm. on the episode and it was just like not good and we were like mm. You win some, you lose some. some this one's good, though. Some. It's got a nice little coffee bite. Grace, do you like it? Yes, I love it. What it do you says wh- it's bold and robust. That sounds about mm-hmm. right. I love that word. Robust. Robust. <laughs> Emphasis on the bust. On the bust. Robust. You, you, you understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. It's all good. I, I dig it. What kind of coffee do you normally so drink? Good. Oh gosh, I like. See, I'm not like a huge coffee lover. Okay. So I get like I cheat it. Please so I get up. like iced white mochas. You know. Oh yeah, that's my yeah. jam. Yeah, iced white mochas. I cheat <laughs> it a little it bit. Like <laughs> They're so good. Come oh, on, so caramel good. macchiatos. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All from Starbucks. I'm a huge Starbucks advocate. Lover everything above. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So are we. But this is good. <laughs> this is really good. Good. Yep. Well, we gla- good. we're glad you like it. Um, oh, I have would you rather. Yes. I'm what, ready. What? I'm scared. I'm not a very decisive person, so. That's okay. <laughs> it's only, you only have two options, and sometimes you, there might be one where it's a clear, <laughs> you're like, I'll take this. Yeah. And I'm going to ease you into it. We're going to give okay. you an easy one first, and then it'll ramp up from there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. But he finds some, some go. really good ones. I search really hard. It's kind of funny, like, part of my job at the podcast is searching for would you rather questions. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hard life. Although yeah. I saw some today, or I saw some when I was looking through. Mm-hmm. Today. Yeah, it was today. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> there were some rough ones. Because they, sometimes they mm-hmm. break them into categories, and there was one that was just for girls, and I was like, I can't ask any of these questions. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can't. Stay no. away. I was like, when Liv's mm-hmm. asked the questions, maybe I'm out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wish you would have sent them to me. I would have asked. I'll, I'll pull. I'll, I'll shoot oh, the great. link to you. Then maybe when we go again. So great. <laughs> but we spared you today. Just Thank know you. that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. Would you rather eat no candy at Halloween or no turkey at Thanksgiving? Oh, oh. my gosh. See, this is where the indecisiveness comes in. Probably no turkey on Thanksgiving because I'm more of a mashed potatoes gal. So the Heard turkey that. isn't. Huge. It's not the top of the yeah, list. Yeah. Nope. But that candy, though. Oh, the candy. Reese cups, Twix. <laughs> that candy, though. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> no, I can't skip on that. Nope. Nope. I understand. <laughs> okay. Um, if you were reborn in a new life, would you rather be alive in the past or the future? Ooh. Oh, that's... Mm, this is hard for me because I am so odd and I listen to like Frank Sinatra on the daily. So there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like I have an old soul, but I'm also very eager to know what's coming. I would probably pick the past though. I think it'd be very interesting to live in like the forties. But like, do you have knowledge of the future? So Mm, we kind of, I I had this conversation earlier with Audrey because we were like sitting there kind of talking it back and forth because it was a, I thought it was a very interesting question to think about. It is. Because I'm like, one thing, let's just, let's just say technically you do. You have, you have a, Mm -hmm. uh, you have memories or whatever of maybe your past life. Mm -hmm. And I think that's sort of how it's supposed to work anyways. So I'm like, if you go back, Mm -hmm. you know, history has been recorded. So you're going to know kind of what's happening or what happened. So you can pick your era, you know? You can kind of go, right. well, this is where maybe I think I would be able to. But then, depending upon how, how far you go back, you will grow up to eventually live in the same time that you were alive in at one point. Whoa. Right? Will you meet yourself? <laughs> oh, I don't know, right? That's you, freaky. You could. Yeah. But then, oh here's the other side of the coin. You could, go <laughs> to the, you could go to the future and be born, and then maybe, I mean, you'll know things about the past, but right. now you've gone to the future, well... 
I, we were talking about multiple different scenarios. Like you could go I, back. It could be totally like Terminator. Like you'd be born and like the machines have taken over. Humanity's <laughs> gone. And like, you know, yep. you, you were born Sarah Connor. Yeah. Like I'm just saying there could be a multiple different outcomes. Mm-hmm. I think I would choose the future. That's where I was. Because I feel unknown. like there's so many like things that have advanced to mm. today's age going backwards and knowing the things that we have available to oh, us yeah. right now i'd be like oh my past life i could like <laughs> my do whole this. my whole true. thing was like the unknown put yeah. me some because then i wouldn't know i'd be like well that'd be a new whatever yeah, you know right. a new life I, I wouldn't have any memory or whatever but true. but i get it some people you know the, the past decades or whatever there's yeah. a lot of interesting stuff there too i'm mm-hmm. sure that no one knows about it's very true yeah. That's a tough Jeez, one, right? That's tough. Yeah. We could do a whole episode just on that question. You, really <laughs> <laughs> you should. It's really dive in. All right. Scratch the... Right. <laughs> the out or the whatever we have. Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, Outline. Okay. Here we go. Would you rather reverse one decision you make every day or be able to stop time for 10 seconds every day? Oh, be able to stop time for yeah. 10 seconds every just day. <sighs> Yep. Yep. (laughs) I cannot tell you how many times I'm like, I just wish life would slow down. Like just stop like right here in this moment. So yeah. And you know that that 10 seconds would feel longer than 10 seconds. Oh yeah. Like that would be creepy too. It would be really creepy. Once a day. Like think about how many situations that you would, (laughs) in just (laughs) 10 seconds. It's like a Twix moment. (laughs) <laughs> where you like pause right. and then like you like move things around and then you like play it right you come back to it and everybody's yeah. like you know hit myself in the face yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you Liv I don't know that's a good one I feel like sometimes I don't make the greatest decisions <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like I kind of want to go that route but does that mean not making a good decision I don't know right if you still yeah, if you get to do it true. twice the second time could be worse <laughs> that's true <laughs> so true um Um, okay i got a weird one for you (coughs) would you rather have seven fingers on each hand or have seven toes on each foot gross (laughs) that is so gross you pick which side those toes go to oh my gosh the extra ones (laughs) 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 or or fingers whichever way like i don't know you got two (laughs) (laughs) or you know i can't even like what would that even feel like (laughs) kind of grosses me out you could do so many things I don't know with seven like it w- i think it'd be weird you're like hey you could, <laughs> you could hold so many things. you really could hold so many things That's i think true. i'd have to do my hands maybe you'd be like the best basketball player ever <laughs> you could just hold, the, just hold yeah. multiple <laughs> you just toss it around what was that or maybe the best juggler ever Ooh, <laughs> yeah that's it juggler fingers or toes yep fingers yeah fingers yeah. yep it'd be hard to find shoes i'm gonna i'm it, I'm gonna go with toes. What if your to- what if your extra toes? You had to cu- make yeah, a cut you in do your with shoes. Your extra toes. <laughs> I mean, like, be a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> we come over, lives like hanging off the door jam, just like, hey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I just feel like you can cover it. And you'd have to find some wide you know? shoes, mm-hmm. though. Oh yeah. Crocs. <laughs> You could just cut a hole in the side of the shoe. Ew. Just your extra your two toes. toes. just like hey. poking out there. Oh, that's, oh, that's weird. That's, kinda, that's gross too. I don't think I would like either one. Yeah. <laughs> no, either one would be bad. Yeah. Be terrible. I'm going to have to go with toes. <laughs> toes. Okay. I'll just get custom shoes. There you go. Uh, would you rather read minds? Marry a cobbler. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You're already married. <laughs> <laughs> but this is also we're talking about in a different life, right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> now we're in a different life. Different. That changes having, the whole game. Having like sixty-three toes. Sixty-three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like doesn't know what seven times two. <laughs> <laughs> Maths isn't. I'm not good at math. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, would you rather read minds or accurately predict the future? Ooh. That is good. <laughs> read minds. I always say that. Yeah, if I had right. any superpower, it'd be read minds. People are like, that's kind of scary. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> then it, I would know. Yeah. It'd be a little scary, like, though. Like, Liv could be sitting here right now, and she'd be like, I just hate everybody. <laughs> and oh, if man. you heard it, it would it would it definitely would, change yeah. your reaction to life it, a little bit. It wouldn't. You'd be like, oh, that's Liv. <laughs> <laughs> that's normal. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> no surprise here. Yeah. Uh, would you, would yeah. you read minds, too? Oh, Yeah. 
I would love to know what people think of me. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I can pretty much guess it in most cases. <laughs> <laughs> I would just be, but every I time I like showed up, know. I'd have aluminum foil on my head. And be like, <laughs> don't, don't. Can you hear me? But like, so here's the other thing though. Can you like turn it on and off? Like, oh, I'm going to read their mind now. Oh yeah. You know that I mean? changes Instead it. Instead of like, ooh, if you're like in public and you are basically knowing what everyone's thinking, yeah. then it's just like, that, that would, would be tough. Be, That's a lot. That would be overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. I would need the on and off switch for sure. There's yeah, only maybe a few you can, people. Maybe you could hone it. You yeah. Know, yep. Get to find your happy place. <laughs> It'd be funny if you had to do that. Just every time you're like sitting there like this. Like <laughs> really <laughs> concentrating. <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? Doing? I'd be like, <laughs> what am I doing? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> your, your mind is nasty. Exactly. Oh my that'd gosh. Be, that'd be, like, think about the one time though you run into somebody and like they're contemplating killing you. Oh my, oh my that God. Okay. I could not that do that. That saved your life. Well, yeah, that's true. I know it would save your life, but you know, I mean, like that would Freak be. Yeah. What if it was like somebody you knew, and like they just <laughs> thought about it? Because you know, it's like sometimes you know, like people think about horrible stuff. I, I mean, they I have think we know heads. what Cole's thinking. <laughs> Seriously, right like <laughs> I watch a lot of murder stuff on TV. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's I'm true. Like, I'm always going. How do these people think? Like, how yeah. could yeah. How, I couldn't imagine being in like being able to think like, oh, I'm going to do this, and then you do it. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's Jesus. crazy. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. Uh, would you rather age from the neck up or the neck down only? <laughs> 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 this, is, this is amazing. <laughs> See where you're like, if you pick neck down, uh, like you're like yeah. 70 and your face doesn't change. You're just like, hey. But the rest uh, of you is like. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just like, uh, yeah. That mm. is such a good question. Probably. That's tough. Um, I know pro- my answer. I don't know. Probably age up. Age up. Age <laughs> from the <laughs> neck up. Probably. I think. Yeah, I feel like it would be more beneficial to preserve the rest of you. <laughs> the bod. I'm just saying. Like, I, yeah. I agree. Think about it. Yeah. You could be like 70 and still be like running and jumping <laughs> around. And be like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> your face still have boobs of like a 20 year old yeah (laughs) like you look normal plus like you can kind of like hide this like if right you know no one knows that you're that fit like you wouldn't be able to hear or see very well but you'd be able to (laughs) be able to run like eight miles like nothing (laughs) climb a mountain (laughs) what's your answer i I agree yeah also too because like it, it would be easier to do different things to your face to make it match mm-hmm. your body. See, I don't think that way. So that's that's good that you say that. Because I'd you be can like, always I need to do my makeup. Fun, <laughs> 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 fun fact, it's so easy to tell the age, specifically I would say of a woman, by her elbows. Hmm. For real? Yeah. I'm not that observant. I was like, so do you know like, this too? No, is this a, no, something I don't know? But that it I that, if I could talk, that is so true. Yeah. Look at yep. Yeah. Next time you're in public, just girls, not dudes. I mean, probably, but I think I just noticed it. What is it that what is it that you're seeing? Elaborate wrinkles. Um, Yeah, like just extra skin Mm -hmm. there. Hmm. Dang it, Liv! Now I'm gonna be like looking at people's (laughs) elbows, elbows. (laughs) everyone's elbows. Be like, uh, 65. (laughs) 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 No, no, sir. That's great. Well, you made it through the would you rather's. Great. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Very good. Now we're gonna get down to the real nitty gritty stuff here. Okay. Love no. it. It's getting deep. <laughs> Go ahead. Play the music. Play the music. The violin. Oh. Something serious. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> Whipping out violin. So, um, Grace and I have known each other for. Years. How many years now? Years, <laughs> girlfriend. Years, years and years and years. Um, <laughs> like what? Eight? Probably. I, I think it's been longer than that. Because maybe like nine or maybe ten. Maybe I think closer to ten. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. That's so weird. It's kind of messed up. Um, it's like middle middle about. school days. So we've seen each other in our. Prime, finest moments. Like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Some people <laughs> <I> say prime. <laughs> and our prime, yeah. Um, so yeah, we went to school together in middle school and high school. Um, and 
you've been in dance and cheer, obviously, as long as I've known you. Yeah. How long did that, or like, when did you start doing that? Yeah, so pretty much when I came out of the womb, um, I was like two and a half, I think, when my mom put me in dance. Um, Wow. And fun fact, by the time I got to high school, I like hated it and I played <laughs> basketball for a year because it was like oh. my dream to be a basketball star. And I almost quit dance for basketball. So thanking the good Lord above that that didn't happen <laughs> because oh I was gosh. horrendous. I totally forgot horrendous. about that. Yeah. Like that what? was my peak freshman year of high school. <laughs> <laughs> and I played basketball. It really was. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Terrible. So yeah, I've done dance since I was two. Literally. But you're also like so tiny. So like, <laughs> I, I just... <laughs> But, but like, Thank like, you. Like, and you are like so <laughs> tiny. Well, I just mean like, like because like for, for <laughs> this big, <laughs> like my pinky. No, but like for basketball, like oh you, oh, I got beat up yeah. a little bit. There was one game. Oh, it was so bad. I literally went to block the ball, which I you know didn't really know how to do that. And so I went in between these two girls, and someone literally scratched my eye. Like yeah, it was and terrible, then, and I had to sit down. Sorry. And, yeah yeah it was bad i got beat up a little dang i have a permanent lip scar from basketball love it yeah man brutal i did not know that it's aggressive i did not know that girls high school basketball was so brutal (laughs) can be really girls yeah (laughs) can be really feisty man oh Oh my gosh yeah but yeah thank you so dancing since the womb pretty much that's super creepy to think about of like a newborn dancing (laughs) Well, so so after that year of basketball, so you yeah. realized you were like, this is not for me, and then you went back, or uh, yeah. Well, I continued dancing that whole year, okay. and I was also in track and cross country, which is a better sport because mm-hmm. I don't have to utilize my hands <laughs> and eyes as <laughs> much hand eye correlation. Um, so that was fine, but um, yeah, I just stayed in dance and kind of balanced the two. However, I managed to do that, and then okay. after that first year, they were like you have some potential of basketball. And I was like, well, I got like 11 years of dance on me. Yeah. I probably should just You're stick like, with I'm that. Just stick with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I loved it. I couldn't imagine my life without it. So stuck with that and still got the, you know, intense competitive sport side of things with running. So, right. And you tried it. At least you tried it, exactly. right? Exactly. I tried it. I fulfilled my dream. I can say I've done it. <laughs> right. I did it. I'm glad I am not doing it anymore, exactly. but I tried it. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. The thought of you being like a professional basketball player is a really <laughs> funny sight because I'm so people, short. Yeah. People that are like in pro basketball are like twice your height. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Which is great. It would be comical. That's why I don't even touch a basketball. Yeah. Yeah, Just don't. It's better. I'm like, I'm out. You will be better for it. I'm like 5'8". I'm like, nope. I am under the threshold for sure. Yep. (laughs) You could play girls. I don't know. It It sounds scary. It sounds really (laughs) scary. Like, don't scratch my eye. (laughs) Yep. Yep. Oh, man. What a time to be alive. Really. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, for those of you who don't follow grace she recently joined or i don't how, what's the right verbiage there yeah joined made the colts cheerleading squad yes team. yeah S- go colts squad. <laughs> <laughs> insert that um, right to the sound right yeah. here yep that's only the second or third time she uh, asked me to do that <laughs> <laughs> please so horn so air horn <laughs> got it oh, i just funny. feel like i feel like that needs to happen anyway I'll, I'll help you out. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> but no, that's super cool. So how yeah. long have you have you been on the squad? So this is my squad. first year. <laughs> squad up. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my first year. So I'm what they call a rookie. Uh, so rookie year. She's a rookie. Love it. Um, so yeah, I actually danced on the Butler University dance team for four years. Okay. Um, did that. Um, danced at all the basketball games, all the football games, absolutely loved it. Um, and then my coach was actually a former Colts cheerleader. Um, and she kind of inspired us all to go out for it. Not every single girl on dance team has tried out for Colts, but a majority of us have. Um, so there's actually four of us on the team right now, which is super fun and exciting. Um, but yeah, so that kind of was fostered in me like my junior, sophomore year of college. Um, And I kind of 
thought about it for a while and then senior year came around and I was like I have to I have to keep doing dance so right. um yeah thankfully I made it made it through the week and what I was gonna say so what's that process look like so, so if before, you want to be on before the before we get there I want to back I want to back it up just a smidge okay. So obviously, back it up, back it up. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're like, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so you danced in middle school, high school. Mm-hmm. Where was that at? What was? Yeah, you were like part of like a dance. Yeah, yeah. So company. middle school. Company. So that's what they like, call it. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So middle school, I went from the dance refinery to Tippy Toe School of Dance. Love the name. Um, <laughs> and ended up becoming a part of their competition group, which is the Releve Dance Ensemble. I was also in the ballet company, so the Indianapolis Youth Ballet. Um, so fancy. I was going to say, <laughs> man, um, we should be drinking coffee with uh, our pinkies out. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I'm trying to remember. I think I was... No, 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 no. I was probably like fourth or fifth grade when I went over there. So okay. I don't know what age that is. Okay. Like eight or nine. No, yeah. that's like second grade. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Ten? Eleven? Nah. I, I don't, don't know. know. I'm really yeah. bad at math. This is why I'm not a math major. <laughs> 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 Anyways, I transferred over there like fourth or fifth grade. Um, and then, yeah, started competing, I think, like seventh or eighth grade. So cool. did that all of high school. So super fun stuff. So did you know that you wanted to do that in college? Like for... I think, well, with the whole running thing, I wanted to run in college. Um, Again, thankful I chose dance. Um, (laughs) (laughs) But um, I don't think it was until I decided that I was going to Butler that I really had considered dancing in college. Um, I actually, someone that I danced with in middle school was on a dance team, and she was a year older than me. And so I knew about the dance team, and obviously when I decided to go to Butler, I was like, that's a way that I want to get involved. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I ended up going there, and uh, the auditions was like the first week of school, so um, I auditioned and thankfully made it there. Um, I thought I wasn't going to. I was so nervous, but <laughs> I did, so. That's a lot of pressure, too. Like, your first week of school, yeah. they throw you in, they're like, hey, by the way, yeah. this too. Right, right. It's Figure like, out where your classes are, get your mm. books, and then this as well. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty Enjoy. much. <laughs> <laughs> so what drew you to Butler? Was it dance or so otherwise? Funny story about Butler. Um, when I was originally looking at colleges, I thought I wanted to go something more like high school. So I wanted to go like the small Christian mm-hmm. university route. Um, and that's pretty much what everyone did from high school, I felt like. Um, and so <laughs> I really honed in on those smaller schools with the exception of a few um, and then went from there. And when I first started applying, my dad was like, you're just not going to apply to Butler. It's way too expensive, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> Daddy's little girl at it again. So <clears throat> um, my mom actually just randomly one day was like, you really should apply for Butler. And I was like, okay, where is this coming from? Um, and so I did it and it was the first school that I was like so over the moon, happy about to get accepted to. Um, and so kind of from that point on, I was like, yeah, I think there's something really special about this place and I need to look further yeah. into it. So, yeah. Well, with your gut. Yep. Oh, yep. yeah. Yep. Yep. Cool. And then so you <clears throat> just graduated. Did you graduate this year? Yeah, in May. In May. Mm-hmm. Crazy. I know. It's scary. So I just wanted to like give... Yeah, you're that, that, get time, the that timeline <laughs> there. I know. I've and been then, anxious to get to this break because I, I have questions. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I have so many questions. Okay, so now we can <clears throat> we can go up to now. <laughs> go up to aud- now. Audition process of yeah, yeah. being on the Colts. Because I thought you, I thought I heard you say you made it through the week. Yeah. So yeah. elaborate, please. Yeah, yeah. So basically, I started. I guess you can call it training for auditions pretty heavily like December Um, and auditions were in the middle of March. So you go the first day um, and you're solely judged on just your dancing. So you learn a routine and you perform it in front of a panel of judges um, anywhere from like the VP of marketing to the coach to players. Do you make this up your own like yourself or no? Thank the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. They they teach it to us. So kind of to see if we can, you know, capture the style, Mm -hmm. learn choreography. Really? (laughs) 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 How do you say that word? 
heard. No, you're there. I think you're right. I think choreography. choreography? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. I could be wrong <laughs> okay. too, but I like the way. It sounds. Wow. Um, <laughs> they see if we can pick up on choreography fast. Um, so yeah, we learn it within like two or three hours and then I wouldn't even say that long and then we go straight into the audition process and you perform it you do it once and if they want to call you back they call you back if not you don't do you do it individually or you do it like with a group of people and they're watching like all yeah, of you guys yeah we do it in a groups of three okay. so yeah it's pretty simple and you perform it and then you do some improv at the end and um yeah they basically just take some notes and smile at you and they're like okay thank you and then you go on your way and you're <laughs> like, like oh, oh my gosh, gosh. <laughs> i'm like oh, what's happening Dang. so that's yeah. where reading minds it would have come. been so oh helpful yeah yeah seriously <laughs> like why are you so, so excited just I standing know. up on stage just like, like staring at them <laughs> like a really intense look <laughs> yeah what's this girl doing so um yeah that is the first day and then we find out that day if we make it to the finals week um so there's 50 finalists um they just call out our numbers they come back out they're like okay here you go and then we go in for a meeting we figure out what the rest of the week looks like and then we go on our merry way so um that whole week we are judged on dance technique fitness we have an interview we have a football test um so, yeah, it's just a lot of things. What's a football test? Yeah, I know. That's yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to make sure you Huge basketball know girl <laughs> over here, obviously. <laughs> um, turned huge football gal. Um, so, basically, you just have to know, like, the coach. Um, there was one question. The commissioner of the NFL. Yeah, I had no idea, so I just guessed <laughs> on that guy, but it's fine. Um, but, basically, you just have to know, like, the first string players. Um, you have to know some of the plays. You have to know what the refs do when they're calling what. So, like, what is a touchdown? And it's, well, it's your two arms up looking like a touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> or a field goal. I was going to say, I think that's a <laughs> field goal. <laughs> looking Uh-oh. like a field goal. Uh, so Yikes. <laughs> Why am I on the team? So do you remember who the commissioner is? I don't even remember. My dad told me the other day. Literally, I didn't ask till like, the other day. It's been months <laughs> since I've made the team. And it's okay. I don't know any of this stuff either. So but, I yeah. Just- but I do know who, like, T.Y. Hilton are. T.Y. Hilton are. T- I know who T.Y. Hilton is. <laughs> I can't uh, not okay. talk. Oh, oh I know, like, That's all okay. the players. So it's I okay. Feel pretty we good. throw you in front of a mic and go, talk. Yeah. It's, it's not natural. <laughs> <laughs> and I think probably faster than I speak, so... But yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It's real basic, yeah. um, but they give you a pretty hefty study guide. So they just want to make sure you're not coming in. They're going, you know, touchdown, and you're going home run. What's right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. So that'd be me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the cheerleading yep. team. <laughs> Heck yeah. The other team scores, and you're like cheering, cheering for, for that. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> what so they're trying uh, to avoid. <laughs> Oh so yeah so how many got picked out of the 50 so out of 50 there was only 26 of us that got picked what so happened to you? yeah Whoa, and there's that's crazy. 12 rookies this year so wow. okay. pretty much that's half the lot, team is new. right yeah. yeah yeah i was gonna say how many girls are there total on the team yeah there's squad? 26 26 oh of that's us, just yeah. that's, yeah. i got gotcha. you okay mm-hmm. so you yeah. have to try out every year yep yeah. I was yeah. going to say, what's the turnover like? Do you just have to every yeah. year? Yeah, every year. So um, you don't know if you have a job next year? Nope. <laughs> wow, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, not very much job security there, right? Nope. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, I mean, they say like the first year is really hard to make it, obviously. And then the second year, if you're going to get cut, you're going to get cut before your second year. Um, uh, okay. So you pretty much treat your first year as like an audition, like the whole year. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and then the second year after that, once you make it on again, you're pretty much, you're good. You're good to go. Unless something horrific happens. Yeah. But right. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh, gosh. So are so, you. Sorry. Are you going to say that? I was just going to say, so you haven't danced at a game yet. No. Okay. Not yet. Okay. August, I think, like, 17th? I don't know if that's right, but we're going to say August 17th. It sounds right. So I think well, that that's when pre- the first preseason Saturday. game is. That would be a preseason Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, oh, he's first. looking it up. We got it. I mean, we have our internet now for a reason, right? So We've not had Wi-Fi. We oh just got gosh. it last week. <laughs> Are you yeah, serious? Yeah, time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So. It looks like maybe it's towards the end of August, like August 29th or yeah, something like that. Yeah, something along those Pre-season lines. Preseason week four is the first home game. That's cool, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. It's Are you nervous? So you've been, have you got to actually be on, you know, the field, though? 
Yeah, so actually today was my first no time way. down on the field. So um, what's, that? what's that like? What's oh, it like to look up at it, the building? It's like, kind of scary. Like, honestly, huge. I was nervous yeah. just being there with no one in the seats. Mm-hmm. Like, it's incredible. I've only danced, like, I'd say my biggest audience, I don't know, maybe 9,000 people, if not a little more, like at Hinkle um, for Butler. But, yeah, this is, like, 70,000 people, which I was not aware of. So I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, you're like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, I'm playing a, a concert. Yeah. Like, essentially, like, these are, Pretty this much. is, like, being Shit. a. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, it's insane. But it's surreal. I think I'm going to cry. I'm yeah. a pretty emotional person. So I'll probably <laughs> step on the field and just like be like, <laughs> <laughs> ball. <laughs> but that's super cool though. I mean, this is, yeah. I don't, and I don't know what ranks, you know, I mean, obviously you've danced all your life. Right. So I don't know, you know, obviously there's a pinnacle. There's something that you reach for. Mm-hmm. And this seems like something that's probably towards the top of, you know, Yeah. Like, I made it to this, you know, yeah. I was, yeah. Yeah, for that's sure. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah, and it's you're incredible. Yeah, I said in your twenty-two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the tailor comes up. <laughs> Too swift here. Naturally. Um. So, what did you actually go to school for? So, I went to school for strategic communication, which is just a fancy way of saying PR and advertising. Oh, okay, I was uh, like, pinkies man, up. Awesome. I'm telling you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a bougie gal. Strategic <laughs> communication. But um, yeah, PR and advertising. So. Yeah, that's that's what I did all four years. So are you going to be working elsewhere like during the season or is that going to be like your full time gig? Yeah. So Colts is actually only part time. Um, it kind of okay. feels full time, but yeah. it's only part time. Um, is that for everybody? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so my plan, if the Lord is willing to grace me with a job by the end of July. I will have a job <laughs> by the end of July. Um, but yeah, I'm going through that whole process right now. I actually am an intern right now at a nonprofit downtown called Downtown Indy Inc. Um, and I've been there for almost a year. So finishing that out and then hopefully staying in the nonprofit sector and doing a lot of communications, networking, PR, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. So what are they, what exactly do they do at that organization? Yeah, so they pretty much market downtown um, so that I would say more so local. Um, okay. People want to come and live and work and um, spend their time downtown. So they put on like food truck Fridays, workout Wednesdays. Um, they have a lot of events on the canal. Um, so they really are just trying to continue uh, kind of feeling downtown's fire i feel like that's kind of what i say yeah they Mm kind of make it a happening place um that's cool yeah and so then you know they want people to just yeah make downtown indy home um so yeah it's really it's it's really fun it's really event focused but yeah it's really cool just kind of telling the narrative of downtown indy right yeah Yeah, and i'm sure you get to meet a lot of cool people yeah yeah, like the mayor, I think I've seen him like five times. There you go. Which, like, it, is he cool? I don't know. That's your own opinion. <laughs> but I'm like, I, I think met it's the cool. mayor. I yeah. think it's cool. We had, a, we had a meeting at the office, and the Franklin mayor came in, and I was like, that's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. like at our office, and <laughs> I felt bad. I didn't, even, I didn't know who it was. It's okay. Until that day. I was like, <laughs> so and you're like oh, yikes. yikes. It's okay. I looked him up before I came to work. <laughs> So I was like, I don't, don't want to be That's like, awesome. uh, who is it? Which which dude in here is the mayor? Like, yeah, it's is awesome. he here yet? Oh gosh, that's awesome. I've met Hogshead before. Mm-hmm. He wow. was at Sun King. Oh, oh okay. fun. Yeah. We were doing like a video project and he was there. Yeah. I don't remember what exactly he was there for. But so we did a bunch of like filming and yeah, yeah. Know, like there's the bear. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's him. Okay, cool. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I had a question, but it left my head and I, this is one I didn't write down. I don't think, uh, oh no, that's okay. It. Um, so what do you want to do long term as in like the dance realm? Like, yeah. do you want to continue to do yeah, stuff there? Next? Like, yeah. What's next for Grace Bowling? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I definitely like, I, I mean, Depending on where I end up, if I don't move from Indianapolis, which is highly unlikely because I love it here, um, I'll do Colts for a few more years um, and kind of round that out. And then hopefully I would love to end up being a dance team coach eventually. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. So I've thought about like dance studio, thinking about, you know, maybe owning my own dance studio. And I kind of like the dance team realm a little bit better. Um, so, you know, maybe circling my way back to Butler eventually would be yeah. pretty cool. They just yeah. got a new coach, um, which we all love her. But yeah, so maybe something like that and kind of working my way up in that realm. So How yeah, long do people typically stay on the like team? Yeah, so I would say anywhere from four to five years. There's one girl that's been on the team for seven years. This is literally her seventh season, which is incredible. Um, I don't know if I could do it that long, but yeah, four to five years is pretty much the average. Seven's a lot. Seven is a lot. It's, yeah, huge commitment, and yeah, you have to love it, so. No joke. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So did did you like the Colts before you you went in? You can be honest with (laughs) me. Yeah, I like the Colts. Did I like football? No, not really. Wow. I just love, like, literally love basketball. Like, yeah. basketball was, like, my favorite thing ever. That's what we did at Butler. Like, Butler's known for their basketball team. Mm-hmm. So all about basketball. Um, and then once Colts kind of came about, I was like, oh, I should probably, you know, eventually go to a home game. And I was a junior Colts cheerleader when I was younger for two years. So I was at the RCA Dome at one point, like, okay. you know, <laughs> going way back wow. um, when Peyton yeah. Manning played for the Colts <laughs> right. and was like an all-star. Um, but I didn't like, no, not like a diehard fan. My family are diehard Colts fans. Um, love them. Eat, okay. sleep, breathe it. But I was just kind of like, yeah, football, no. But now I'm like, yeah, Colts. <laughs> <laughs> love it. And so the, 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 is, it was your home game, your first home game, was it at Lucas? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That yep. is, what, what an experience that is. Liv, have you seen a game at the Lucas Oil? Yes. Gosh, it's just. It's incredible. It's actually really f- a funny story. Oh, my gosh. My oh my first. Gosh. Go, go, go. (laughs) You can't just say it's funny and not tell the story. It's funny. (laughs) It was not funny then. Oh, okay. It's funny now, not so much now. It's funny now. So the Dolphins. Yeah, hold on. I'll call you out right now. So first of all, Liv and her family, they're all Dolphins fans. It's wrong. I text her to d- today, and I was like, you need to wear, wear your cold stuff. And I just expect her to have cold stuff. She's like, remember, we're Dolphins fans. And I was like, mm. Yeah. yeah. Friends, I don't, no uh, more. Right. You know. <laughs> I'm getting ready to kick her he off the show. He doesn't even really watch fine. football that much to have say, an opinion. Disclaimer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not but, a big football person either. Mm-hmm. I think the... Just the atmosphere of yes. a game going, like there's something about going and yes. like being a part of it. Like mm-hmm. it makes you want to jump out of your seat with everybody else. Oh yeah. And I yeah. really <laughs> could give two craps <laughs> about sure. football or whatever, who wins or whatever. It's all about the experience for me. Yep. And I just think it's cool. I mean, it's it's local, right? It's yeah. being a part of something. It, you're cheering on your local team. These people right. live here. They they're it's all about Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. And I just thought that was cool. So it was it was kind of fun to get into. Yeah. And so it was about those things mm-hmm. as how I started getting into it. And you know, I had to have people teach me what it, what everything right, meant. Right, right. Um, I get it now. Um, <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> but it's kind of funny because I like went to your guys' house and everybody had dolphins crap on. And yeah. I, like, well, that's, I know that's yeah, wrong. Yeah. From from yes, it is. from the womb, we were. You know, we were birthed and put into a dolphin's onesie. So we were kind of brainwashed, but now we're just, you know, we're into it. Right. Yeah. It's hard to say we're dolphins fans because um, they suck. But, a little. You know, we're committed. We're not it's exactly okay, in you know? Miami. We're not exactly in Miami either. So. <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. No. Sorry. Can you at least get on board with the Pacers? Um. Yeah. Oh, listen to her. No, oh, no, 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 no. I, uh, no, I don't know. No, here's I the, prefer the heat. What? <laughs> <laughs> Do I talk about that? I don't know. Is LeBron James go? I don't think so. That um, too. No. <laughs> Are you one of False. those people? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good with the, with the Pacers. Like, I'm great with them. I just... <laughs> we're on really good terms, actually. Uh, we're, we're, we're like best friends. Right. We're on talking bases. But, right like, now. I would rather watch college basketball oh, than yeah. the NBA. So, I'm with you on that one. Like, I just went to my first Pacers game this year. It's fun, too, though. It I will is. say, I went to Pacers games more than I went to Colts games. I mean, basketball. Yeah. Those but are fun, too. So, I'm, I'm good with the Pacers. Most but of the I Pacers games rather. I went to, I sat in a suite and that's a little Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. You can never. No. <laughs> I you feel can't like, beat that. I feel like every sporting event we talk about, Cole's like, I like sat in a suite and like. <laughs> that's because so. I would. No. Uh, that's because I would never. First of all, I would probably never pay for my own seats to go to the games. <laughs> so usually I have a hookup. Um, I worked with an appraiser for a long time, and there was a company that we worked with, and mm-hmm. they had a suite 
Ugh. for Pacers. And like, we, he would be like, Hey, I've done a lot of work for you. Please throw us some tickets. And they just throw us tickets and we would just chill and, you know, you eat and you drink for free. That's and amazing. That, yeah. The fun thing was one time we actually got to walk down and we were mm-hmm. like, we were walking around the court and it's just crazy to be like right there. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, these dudes are tall. Yeah. <laughs> were you huge. <laughs> time, time out for a second. <laughs> were you at GCA yet when the guys played in it wasn't Banker's Life at the time. But Kinsico? At, yeah. Were you there for mm, that? I don't think I was. That was cool. Our high school That's played another high school at Banker's, and we got to, like, sit, like, right there. Yeah, like, I don't on think the I court. was. It was really cool. You're getting yeah, ready to change awesome. the name again. Are they really? Yeah. Yes. Everyone's yeah. just getting used to Banker's Literally, Life. Literally, everyone is just getting used to Oh, my used gosh. To it. Okay, so oh well. the – um, first Lucas Oil. Yeah, sorry. Game. We, we no, totally got off on a tangent so, there. <laughs> it's fine. This was, I, I think I was a, a sophomore in high school, and the Dolphins were playing the Colts, and our whole family was going, and there was a ticket that was bought for my current boyfriend to go with me, <sighs> and then we broke up. Mm. Before the game? Yes. Uh. And then, and it was like, fr- it was, it was fresh. <laughs> and was real fresh. Seth, so my fresh. brother was friends with Brad who loved the Colts and they gave the ticket to Brad. Uh. And I just remember being so annoyed because I was like, that ticket wasn't for you. And I was just <laughs> like, but like, I love twist. <laughs> right. I know. <laughs> So that's why I say it's funny now. <laughs> I never said that to him because, like, we were st- we were friends then, cause just because he was right. friends with Seth. But I was just I remember being so annoyed about it because <laughs> he wasn't the one supposed to be going. Oh, but it's so funny, funny to think about now. So anyway, that was my yeah. first game. It is funny now because you married the guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that you came. I know. Good times. And you marry him. Yeah. Gosh, Good. live. What a time to be alive, man. I'm serious. That's so funny. Yeah, it's great. Dang. <laughs> it's weird how life works sometimes. Mm-hmm. You just don't ever know. Nope. It's full time. circle all the time, I'm convinced. It's super weird. That's like, just that like with weird. Audrey. Like, I knew her forever, and then all of a sudden, you know what I mean? And now yeah, we're together, yeah. and we're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we're just like, this is so weird. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> I know. That's what I tell Brad sometimes. I'm like, I still feel like it's weird that we're together. Right? Because you guys were just friends. Just, you know, everybody yeah. was hanging out, and like, you know, you had your mutual friends that you were like dating and like, that's just so weird. And then you were like, while he was dating other people, you were talking to him. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Dude, thumbs up for it all. I know, right? No, it's so weird though. How that happens. Mm, yeah. Love. Weird. Now we're married. So, you know. Gosh. Love it. Good times. I, ha- I found a, a photo from that game, like not that long ago. And obviously we're all decked out in <laughs> dolphins. And right, just he, ready to get like, just booed when you walk into the stadium. <laughs> there was actually we, which I'm sure you can probably picture this. I don't know if you know this. My brother-in-law Nate, who's married to Erica, mm-hmm. is intense sometimes. Mm-hmm. No. And <laughs> we we were there's like how many of us? Like eight of us, fully decked out. Like Jordan, my brother, is head to toe dressed in like a like a uniform like the pads the helmet <laughs> oh, like everything my with like a jersey the pants the, the whole thing the whole nine yards okay and we're all sitting together in the Colts stadium so like Colts fans are surrounding us which like you know we did it to ourselves right yeah but <laughs> knew better yeah <laughs> well obviously at sporting events people tend to uh drink a lot and there were people behind us that were just like they were being nasty like we, let's calm down. This is yeah. a, this is a sporting event. Like mm-hmm. we need to calm down. And they start 